everybody. This is All Streets Gourmand out here at Avenue 26 Night Market. This is the one on Imperial. Um, so we're gonna go check out a couple of things tonight. We're in the mood for some tacos, some pupusas, some esquites. So we're gonna try that tonight uh, while we're here. So we're gonna go check it out. The 26th at Imperial Night Market is a truly organic street market along a nondescript side street in the heart of Los Angeles. It should not be confused with the Pico Rivera or Alameda Night Market. This is the market that is right off where Imperial Street meets East 15th Street. They are open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evenings. We're just waiting for our burrilla tacos to come out. And so while they're making them right now, we're just kind of taking a quick break, but a couple of quick uh, impressions. Uh, first of all, parking. You want to kind of drive around first, get your bearings before you go ahead and park. Um, but it is, it looks like it's free, but I would be careful where you want to park. There are some places that are marked out as parking that you're going to charge you for that, or you can just do street. Um, so we kind of did a perimeter scan of everything, and there was a couple of places that we were able to park without having to pay any fees at all. Um, so that was kind of good. Uh, the other thing too is we noticed uh, there's a lot of different vendors here, so don't just think that there's food, there's desserts, there's drinks, there's um, folks sending a lot of uh, dulces, a lot of candy. Um, so bring a combination of cash, but they also have a lot of Zelle that we noticed, so you can probably do that too as an option uh, while you're out here. Burilla tacos are awesome to start off with. They are hearty, full of flavor, and have a mixture of both dry and wet textures. They have well-prepared sides, but the highlight was their red sauce. It was a well balance of both hot with almost a sweet burn. The standout also was the consomme. This is the soup that you dip the tacos in. It was full of slow cooked beef stock, aromatics, and vinegars. There is also a seating area right behind this location of Barriera Tacos, so we latched onto it. At 26th Imperial, you will not have a ton of seating options, so keep that in mind. When the market gets up and kicking and many of the stalls are in place, you will find quite the gem. There is not just food stalls, but drinks, sweets, merchandise, and Mexican candies. We had fun not only in the eating experience, but exploring the stalls for anything you can't usually get anywhere else. What I love about these markets is you'll find stuff that is definitely off the beaten path. There were plants, clay pots, and even a CBD edible vendor. Next up, we craved Esquites, the delicious sister of Elote. This place had both the an Esquites cup and a loaded ramen Elote. The Esquites was in a huge cup, piping hot and full of mayo, Cheetos, and tajin. We didn't put it down until it was polished off. Now, shrewdly and smartly, this stand was passing out samples of their drinks. Their pepino limon with chia was refreshing and sweet. Very delicious. Okay, so I'm going to say that I'm probably going to butcher a couple of words here, so forgive me in advance. The Tluda is an interesting take on what looks like a pizza before we went, so we ordered one to go, and I'll be honest, it wasn't the easiest thing to eat there is an Oaxacan dish, very similar to a pizza, but typically using tortilla instead of a pizza dough. The dark layer is a deep sauce, mostly of refried beans, and in this case, we felt it had a bit of a mole flavor to it, but also the flavor is probably mostly in part to the asiento. This is a flavoring derived by the dregs of meat at the end of a cooking process. Oaxacans use this to flavor many of their dishes, and it definitely adds much to the flavor and deliciousness of the overall tlaouda. Topping is a Oaxacan cheese, similar to mozzarella, then topped with a skirt steak and small orbs of chorizo. And the last thing that we took with us was a pork and cheese papusas. Uh, these are just so delicious in their simplicity. So enveloping different fillings into a cornmeal shell, these are fried on a very hot pan or skillet and come out piping hot. Uh, the pork and cheese uh, combined with both the cabbage and the salsa made for quite a satisfying meal. Hey 
Hey everybody, this is Jack at All Streets Gourmand, just wrapping up here at 26th Night Market on Imperial. We had a great time. Um, as you can see, it got a little livelier in the evening, so we came pretty much when they started at 6.30, but I'll be honest, I probably waited about an hour. And as you can tell behind me, it's actually picked up quite a bit. Uh, very lively market, a lot of friendly people. And also picked up a few items here as well um, from a shopping standpoint. So uh, check us out again, uh, like and subscribe, all things All Streets Gourmand, and we'll see you next time. Oh, there were dicks. Lots and lots of dicks. Hey, fair warning.